Vader Van Camp is a 15, 5, and 1 welterweight born in Indianapolis, Indiana. Now fighting out of nearby Lebanon, Indiana with indie boxing and grappling. The 29-year-old is a submission specialist with 13 total finishes, 8 in round 1 and 6 of them by tap. He was set for a UFC debut in September, but injury forced a fight cancellation. Now he's set to grace the octagon with his presence at UFC 274. Jog it back to January 2020, the invader fresh off a decision win to capture United Combat League's welterweight crown. Now he's looking for more gold in the form of the chosen few FC super lightweight championship. Dropping 5 pounds to face their current welterweight champ 10 and 6, Craig Eckelberg, who won his first title last time out. First frame, both fighters connecting on punches, getting wild early. Then Van Camp finds that body lock and it's strong. Less than a minute later, opponent knee to the face, but Cameron gets the lock again and turns the corner quick. He outside trips and takes the back. End of the round, nice side elbow from the back looking like Travis Brown. Derek Lewis still wondering, where's Ronda Rousey at? Round two, Van Camp backs off the punch, then drops level on him, making the takedown look easy. Minute 40 later, trying to attack that back, but falls off to the right side. He transitions to an arm bar, then a triangle when he gets opponent's left arm out of the picture. Now he's attacking the arm again at the exact same time. Moments later, gets two hands on the limb and goes belly down to extend. Round two arm bar takes Cameron Van Camp to 13-5-1, but more importantly, captures his second title in two fights. Trading on the feet early with wild strikes, but settled in with brilliant grappling. Transitions like water, my friend, and opponent got lost in his sauce. COVID forced Cameron to take a year and two month break. Back in 2021, looking for his third separate title in three bouts. Fighting for the Strike Hard Promotions 170 pound belt against 5 and 4 Haraz, King Kurd Sayan, a welterweight standing only 5 foot 7. Kinda reminds me of the UFC's Duran win out there. Early first left miss, but that's about the only strike he won't land tonight. Left is true behind, then a flying knee. He goes back to the left simply quicker than Sion early. Seconds later, axe kick hits the nose on the upswing. Returns to face punching, followed by a quick knee up front street as Sion shoots. Van Camp grabs a guillotine and opponents in trouble. Now he's able to get that upward torque on the choke and opponent taps before he naps. Cameron Van Camp in cruise control as he elevates his record to 14-5-1 after three straight separate title victories. I hope he has ring central with all that gold in his house. Four months later, defending his welterweight strap against 10 and 7 Kenny. Good to go, Gaudreau. To fight losing streak coming in for the 34 year old. Let's see if the invader plays with his food here or puts it on him. In the first minute, opponent evades the left, but can't evade Cameron's right. Overhand cashes in, then he seizes the neck. First goes for the guillotine, then adjusts with the same arm for the ninja choke. Rare submission, that ninja choke, kind of like a reverse rear naked for Cameron Van Camp, and it earns him a UFC contract. Wasted no time in this bout, hurt him with strikes, then moved in for the kill, needing a single sub attempt. Octagon debut got delayed, but seven months later, it's on in May. He's facing 15 and 4 Andre Fialo, tough matchup, and he's coming off a highlight real KO. It all goes down at UFC 274 Gaethje versus Oliveira.